Hi, it's Maxine K and Yoga from the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living in Pale Lake, Pennsylvania. We're happy to be with you today for another little mug note, another wonderful way to stay connected with you. Thank you so much for continuing to tune in, not only on our Sunday morning live streams, but to the love notes that Reverend Mike and I like to share with you. And so does yoga. <laughs> I know there's, oh, she's ready to get down now. She said, I had my cameo appearance. We watch the news, we read the news, but not too much, please. Just enough so that we can stay informed about what really is the best course of action for us right now to get a sense of how and when things are going to be opening up out there. But you know, in the meantime, what's so wonderful is that we've been opening up in here, that we've been expanding our hearts and getting creative with our, with our thinking, not only about how to navigate through each day, but also now, I think more importantly than anything, how to begin to create a new idea for the world that we're ready to re-enter when the time comes, because it will not be the same world. We're learning wonderful things like caring for each other. We're learning about simplicity. We're learning about what truly is important. So the world that we are now creating, the place that we're setting our intention, is much more important than where we have been. Let's congratulate ourselves for moving through this quite well. So our nails are short and we're not extending them anymore. Our hair is long and it just does whatever it does. That's fine. It's kind of fun, isn't it? But when we look at the news, just to stay informed, sometimes we begin to have a bit of a reaction to what we see in here. I like to think about that experience as a call to prayer. When we see something that may be disturbing or confusing or unsettling, let it be a call to prayer. That's where we need to put our attention on a higher road so that we're not going down the wrong track and becoming too involved with fear, which itself is the worst kind of contagion we could imagine. So we want to stay in the faith and in the clarity and keep our vision high, not only for ourselves and our loved ones and all the people in the world right now, but for a new idea of the way we can co-create a world that works for all. We can begin this by truly entering into the joy of each precious moment that we're experiencing in our day right now. As we experience each task that we're to do, we can begin with a different perception, a different mindset. Instead of doing something because it's expected of us, or because there's a deadline to meet, or because we won't please somebody if we don't do it, can we not enter into a whole different way of being? Where we do whatever we choose to do, first of all, because we choose to do it, Secondly, or maybe primarily, because we realize that we are the instruments through which spirit wishes to express life. No matter what the appearing limitation may be, or the temporary restriction may be, there's no limitation in spirit. There are infinite possibilities. This is where we want to keep our focus. This is where we want to create a whole new mindset, a whole new spiritual prototype about the way we do our lives, no matter where we are and no matter what the circumstances may be. Let's let spirit have a wonderful time by means of us, by everything that we think and everything that we feel and everything that we do all day long. As we deepen our connection with spirit in our daily meditation, as we bring ourselves into that beautiful communion with the loving, precious spirit within, and as we direct this beautiful law of good for good in our lives, 
in the lives of our loved ones, and ultimately in the world itself. We are returning to source. We're remembering who we truly are. And this is a beautiful opportunity to live each day fully, allowing God to be God in us and working together to co-create a beautiful new life and a wonderful new world, one that truly does work for everyone. Let's put our energies into this now. We can do this. We are doing it, and we're doing it together. So do join us on Sunday morning for our live stream at 1030. Just go to our wonderful website, which is cslphilly.org. And there's a place that you can click that takes you right to the live stream at 1030. You can also check out previous archived Sunday mornings, as well as all of the love notes that we have up there, Reverend Ike and I. It's such a pleasure, such a joy, so heartwarming to be with you in every possible way we can imagine. And on that wonderful website, there are also ways to contribute to keep our center alive and well. So we give thanks for you. We give thanks for this beautiful teaching. We give thanks for our spiritual community. And we give thanks for the wisdom and the love that is guiding and leading and nurturing all of us every day, always. So from Reverend Mike, from Yoga, from me, and for all of our beloved community, we say, Thank you. God bless you. And you'll be hearing from Reverend Mike tomorrow.